Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedrunning video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video I'm going to be building in the brand new world which is Copperdale, the latest world that we got from the latest expansion pack which came out early this week, the Sims 4 high school years and I'm going to be building a really big high school. So first things first, I highly recommend that you grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, maybe get, just get yourself something, something to keep you hydrated. If I was you, I'd probably get a snack as well because you might be able to tell from the timestamp of this video. It's gonna be quite a long one this week because basically, to cut a very long story short, I built a skull because like I just mentioned, we've got a new expansion pack this week. I'm not joking. This week to me, it feels like it feels like Christmas. Like, I, I think I've said this before, but to me, whenever we get a new expansion pack, it feels like how it felt when I was little and Christmas Day was approaching. You know, when you have all the build up and you have the day when it's finally here, this is my Christmas day. New expansion pack day or new expansion pack week is my favorite time of the year. And of course, I want you to sit down and build at something using all the new stuff that we got within the expansion pack. And so I thought, well, as it is a high school focused expansion pack, why not just build a high school? And so that's pretty much exactly what I did. Now, I've never built on a 64 by 64 lot before. This is my first ever one and I'm just, I'm so happy and so insanely proud of the way this build didn't turn out. And I'm just, I really hope you like it, but getting on and talking about the build. So first things first, I do want to let you know, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, Jess, this is absolutely colossal. There is no way I'm going to be able to get my Sims to come to school here and navigate their way around the school and, you know, get them to be on class on time and get them to the cafeteria and then also go to the toilet on their lunch break and whatnot. If you're looking at it and you've got worries about how big it is, I do want to let you know that I built this it sounds really bad, but I built this mainly focusing on the gameplay element rather than focusing how it looks on the outside. Because at the end of the day, it's great if it looks lovely at the outside, but you want it to be functioning, you want it to be easy for gameplay. So the way that I built it, you see where the, kind of like the middle floor is, where the columns are and where the front door is, Technically, that's the only level that your sims need to interact with when they come to school. So that's what's got the classrooms on it, that's what's got the cafeteria, the the staff room, the principal's office, like all the, all the stuff that you need for the core gameplay is all on one floor. So you don't have to faff about with getting your sims to go upstairs and downstairs and whatnot. It's all on the one level and it's all laid out really easily. So like the toilets are next to the classroom, which is next to the cafe, which is right next to the principal's office, which is opposite the staff room. It's, it's all laid out really easy but I do just want to let you know quite early on in case you are having any doubts about how big it is in terms of gameplay I tried to make it as easy as I could possible everything that your sim needs to complete the school day is all on one floor just everything above it and below it it's fully furnished but everything that is in the basement level and also on the top floor is just basically extra stuff say if your sim is in like an after school activity or maybe if your sims wants to get up their skill building in a certain skill there is different classrooms dedicated to different subjects on the top floor and then there is also just tons of there is so many different things that your sims can do honestly if you want to you could probably make it into a boarding school if you if, if that's the kind of gameplay you're fancying i was thinking you can maybe turn some of the upstairs classrooms into like boarding spaces add some beds in there because your sims technically from my gameplay experience anyway so far don't have to leave because i haven't done any gameplay which the the pack came out on thursday six o'clock i've literally been building this since thursday at six o'clock like i have just been building i've done no gameplay whatsoever the only gameplay that i've done so far is play testing so i haven't really discovered all the different elements that you kind of discover as you go throughout the game but one thing i did notice when it came around to play testing and i don't know if it was just because it was on a friday but my sim basically never went home so it, it got to i think it was like three o'clock or something on a friday afternoon i assumed you know with the get to work active careers or like the acting career or whatever active career you've got and you travel to work for your sim you know normally it gets to the time that the the shift is up and then they kind of be like a little checklist and it'll tell you if your sim's done well today or if they've done really bad it tells you if they've got a promotion or whatever i assumed that at the end of the school day that would come up but for my sim that that didn't happen it literally just the bell rang everyone went home and my sim was literally just still standing on the lot so i think technically if you wanted to you could make a boarding school you can make this one into a boarding school maybe make some of the extra spaces that i decided to make into like extra activity rooms upstairs into bedrooms like just put loads of going to like bunk beds in there or something and then technically your sims never have to leave again this was on a friday so i don't know if it happens like differently on different days i was thinking that maybe where it's a friday maybe there's like a football game on or something at the back of the field and then your sims aren't prompted to leave because they could possibly go and watch it i don't know but either way there is 
there is just so much going on on the inside and also the outside of the build actually so starting off i think i'm gonna i'm gonna start with the core basics so that is on the middle floor so again like i said i didn't want your sims to be able to go to their classroom which is on the top floor and then have to pop downstairs to the cafeteria which is on the ground floor i wanted everything to be within distance on the middle floor so we've got two classrooms we've got a principal's office we've also got a reception which isn't required but it just feels necessary like a little lobby say say there's like a parents evening or something and people need to come into the school that aren't you know they aren't students and they need like a little waiting area there is like a little reception area for them and then there is also like a little study room downstairs where your sims can maybe study for their exams or maybe just do some doodles in their sketchbook there is also two sets of toilets there is two toilets on basically each wing of the school because the way that i did the floor plan you have a left wing and you have the right wing and basically they've all got similar things within them one wing has got like a classroom and some toilets it's got a study area whereas the other one has got another classroom some more toilets and then it's got like the principal's office and then there is also the cafeteria which is dead center in the middle so depending on which classroom your sims are going to be at it's just like the easiest for your but basically for your sims to get around but that is basically everything that's on the middle floor like i said that is everything that's the core basics in terms of completing every single task that will come up during your sims school day there is also a staff room as well but that's not really necessary like like the uh like the reception hallway area that's not really necessary but it just it feels right it feels like it, it needs to have a staff room so there's a staff room of like a coffee machine a microwave a seating area and whatnot but then on the bottom floor where the archways are basically in there ends up being just like loads of different like basically fitness activity i say loads there's a swimming pool so so there is a swimming pool in the basement as well as like a changing locker room area there is so many lockers by the way in and around the school so the lockers i must have placed i'm not joking about 40 of them so if your sims are worried about coming to school and be able to find a locker you know worried about if there's not going to be enough space for them to have their own locker don't worry there is plenty there is lockers on literally every single floor but there is kind of like a swimming room area we have like some changing stations there is also some showers and then on the opposite side there is one basketball court now in total on this lot there is two basketball courts there is one outside and there's also one inside now when i was building this i was thinking about so many different films and tv shows that i've seen throughout the years and one thing that always is in every single film every single tv show is always like a a basketball court with i think it's called bleachers basically just somewhere that other sims can go and watch their say if they've got their friend that's in the basketball team if they want to go and watch the game they can basically go and sit in these stands i should basically just call them stands yeah so basically there's a basketball court that's inside that's got tons of different stands your sims can go in there maybe they can watch their friends play the basketball game or maybe you're maybe you've got one sim that's like a cheerleader and maybe their partner happens to be on the basketball team and so maybe they're going to be cheering for them whilst they're in there but there is plenty of space for them to play basketball because there's also an exterior basketball court as well so the inside one has got the stands where you know sims can go and watch each other and then there's an outside one which is just purely basketball you know maybe that's where they like to practice on like a hot sunny day or something but then also in the basement there ends up being like a little chess club now when i was building this like i said i haven't done any gameplay as such i've only game played the play testing of this build <laughs> that sounds really weird i've only play tested this build so i haven't discovered all the different elements that you find throughout gameplay as you go along but one thing i noticed is in the build and buy catalog there seems to be four new trophies for what i'm assuming are like after school activities now there is one for cheerleading there is one for like, i think it's like computer science or maybe just computer because it, it's basically it's got a little computer on the trophy itself so i'm assuming it's something to do with technology but there's a cheerleading one a computer related one there's also i know it as rugby you know you know what if you're from england you know what we look at as a rugby ball that but i think it's american football it's always really confused me because side subject but in england we call rugby rugby and that is the one that's got the brown brownie red not so circular ball and that is rugby to us and then football is the one that's got more so the white white ball and it's got like the little black dots on but in america it's like football is termed as what we class as rugby i think it might be different what who changed it and why did they change it because it's just it's so confusing but either way american football i'm gonna say there is a trophy for american football and then there's also one last trophy which seems to be for a chess club and there's also some like little chess statues that you can find in the cluster menu as well and so i kind of took the idea and thought well why not make it so every single type of activity or every single type of after school club that your sims might possibly want to be in why not make it so there's a room dedicated 
allocated for each of them kind of extracurriculums somewhere in this school and so in the basement i decided to make a little chess room little chess club so in there there is a bunch of different chess tables there is some like sofa lounging areas maybe your sims aren't as sociable and they like to spend their lunch times in that chess club all their friends are maybe in the same club as well and that's just like what they like to do on their lunch break but in terms of what's in the basement that is pretty much it so you know swimming pool lockers changing rooms showers indoor basketball court with the bleachers and then the chess chess club room or chess activity room and then it's not until you go onto the top floor of the building where you've got more classrooms which if you do want to have more classrooms in in the build you want to have more whiteboards there is plenty of space for you to add them in but the thing is the way that the game works from my understanding anyway is the whiteboard object i feel like you could pretty much place it anywhere like i'm talking you could probably place it in the car park or you could probably place it onto the school field and a teacher will go and stand in front of it and try and teach a lesson you know right on the whiteboard and do whatever they do when they do when they interact with it and so i didn't want to place loads of them around because like i said i really was trying to focus on the gameplay element because yeah it can it can look nice that would be great but it would be even better <laughs> if it actually worked and your sims didn't have to run all the way upstairs to get to their class on time and then have to go all the way downstairs to get to the cafeteria all within such a short time frame because sometimes the way that sims works is your sims can literally take hours and i'm not joking literal hours to get from one side of a really big lot to the other side and especially if you've got things and different tasks and say especially if like they're running late for class and you're downstairs in the basement and then they need to be on the top floor for their like science class your sims by the time they get there it's gonna be over and so on the top floor i made classrooms but there's no technically whiteboards if you want to add the whiteboards in feel free you can add it you can change the build however you want to if you do decide to download it but in terms of like key features in the upstairs it's pretty much just extra stuff like extra stuff for skill building to get your sims fun up to maybe interact with different objects and maybe socialize a little bit so to start it off there is a really big library upstairs i feel like every single school needs to have a library so it's just got a ton of different books cases there's also some of them little research stations that we've got from the discover university expansion pack which by the way the discover university expansion pack came in so handy in this build and the get to work one as well actually which i'll talk about in a second but it was just so perfect because you've got this library and you've got all these different bookcases and you want to still be able to get your sims skill needs up and sometimes if you don't want to faff about with getting your sims to stand in front of the mirror and practice their charisma or say you don't want to get your sims to actively go and practice debate just these little research machines and library come so they're so useful because you can literally just get your sim to sit down and they can just level up in that one skill and it's just kind of like a dedicated area dedicated workspace for that but there's some of them in the library as well as some like empty like desk spaces and then there is also a science lab on the upstairs portion which i am so happy with the way the science lab turned out you know how i said get to work came really handy we have got so many objects that I see consistently in the build and buy catalogue and I always just, I always skim past them because like one of them for example, a skeleton. How am I ever going to place a skeleton into like a, a residential or a community lot? But with this one, where it was a school, I created one of the classrooms upstairs to be a science lab. Of course, science labs, it's very sciencey to have a skeleton. So there is a ton of different get to work items in that lab. There is also loads of different stranger build stuff, like loads of different beakers and lo loads of different stuff that would just work so perfectly that we already had in the game from different game packs, different expansion packs are basically in that little science lab but then we also have an art room now on this bit of paper that i noted down at the start of the week one of the things i wanted to include in this school somewhere was basically like a wood shop woodworking space you know where your sims can go and in, i feel like in every single film that we watch it's like they make a bird house or they or they make some sort of like wall decoration but it's basically somewhere where your sims can go and make knife blocks or whatever i want you to have a space for that within this build but the thing is if you actually look at the the wood shop wood working station i don't know how to say it but you know the one i'm talking about where your sims can like craft stuff if you actually look at it it's quite ugly and i didn't want to have a massive room just dedicated to this one object because one is quite ugly and like two it's, it's just limiting because that's only one type of skill one type of activity and so there's an art room upstairs which has got a bunch of different art easels it's also got some like higher tables with bar stools it's got some empty like workspace your sims can sit in there maybe do some do some work maybe do some drawing on a sketch pad or whatever but then also in the corner there ends up being a woodworking table so if your sims did want to level up in that skill they have got the option to do so and then there is also a computer room in this build as well so basically just a really big room filled with loads of different desks and loads of different computers it's also got everything that i could find that would make sense to be in a computer room so you know the get famous expansion pack 
somehow we've got so many different equipment looking stuff from that expansion pack probably because when you go to the film set if you're in the acting career there's loads of different like cameras and loads of different technology around all that kind of stuff came in so handy in this build because i got to use it to act like maybe it's laptops or maybe it's tablets for the classrooms and they just happen to keep it in the computer room and they're all in these little trolleys and whatnot but yeah there is a computer lab and then the last room is the music room which it's got to be one of my favorite rooms in the whole entire build so in there there ends up being a piano in the corner there is also a bunch of different microphones i laid the chairs out in kind of like a semi-circle motion because i was thinking back to all the different films that i've watched whenever there seems to be like a music room or like even like a theater room there always seem to be the chairs laid out in kind of like a semi-circle and so that's how i laid that room out there's also a bunch of different guitars in there microphones there is also a dj mixing station which is a bit weird but again, I want you to have as many different activities for your sims to do on their lunch break as possible, or even possibly after school. Maybe one of them wants to age up one day and become a professional DJ. And so if they want to do that, there is a skill building object for it in the music room upstairs. There's also a bunch of different like violins laid out and you know guitars and loads of different musical items. I was really gutted that we didn't get a drum kit within this expansion pack because I feel like it would have... As I just feel like it would have been a really good opportunity to add a drum kit into the game because we currently don't have one and unless we're going to get like a bands focused game pack at this point I don't think we're ever going to be able to get drum kits in The Sims 4 which is really sad and I just really hope that one day we could have band because then we could actually have like a band practice room you can maybe renovate one of the rooms and make it dedicated to I mean technically that is the music room so that's, I've pretty much already done that but you know I would love to have something where they've got the big drums and I don't know what it's called, but I've seen him once in a Taylor Swift music video where they're like dressed up in this kind of, this certain outfit and they're all like standing there with these gloves on, like banging these drums. Do you know the ones I'm talking about? I feel like that was a really big missed opportunity in this expansion pack, but in terms of the stuff that's on the inside of this build, that is pretty much it. There's also tons of different hallway spaces with the lockers. There's also like a little janitor's closet because one thing I noticed is that when I was on this lot, they kept on being like a it was just some random man he kept on showing up and like cleaning stuff up and so i'm assuming that he was a janitor he did have something like above his head you know sometimes when you're playing with like teachers or say if you're in an active career and you're maybe an actor the, the director on the acting career will have this thing floating above their head that says right that's the director again if you're working in like the hospital and your sims a doctor another doctor will have the same thing floating above their head the, the man that kept on showing up and cleaning stuff, he did have something above his head. Can't remember what he said, but I just took it as, as you know, he's a janitor. And so there is a little separate janitor's room in one of the hallway spaces upstairs. But in terms of just general stuff you have Sims to do, that is pretty much it for the inside of this build. But anyway, getting on and talking about what I'm doing right now. So as you can see, I've done the main core building of it. You can see I placed down at one of the basketball courts. I'm just about to place down a second basketball court, but this is the one that I, I didn't want it to be actual basketball. I wanted it to be like a soccer field or like a rugby field or American football field. Don't know what way to term it as. So I'm gonna say every single name, but you know the ones, the, the football that is brown and not circular, there's a field for that. And there's also a, a field, the same field, but the, the area where your Sims, if they're in soccer, they can also play around. I also end up placing down a cheerleading mount into that area as well. Because the thing is, with the basketball court downstairs in the basement, there wasn't really an appropriate place for me to place down the cheerleading leading mat and I want you to a sims to if they're in the cheerleading club they've got a place to practice and so I just place it down onto that little empty field but I do that quite near the end of the video so you won't see it just yet but there is a cheerleading mat in here as well but now as you can see I'm just focusing on this little hallway archway area now for some reason <laughs> basically when I was building this I was thinking back to pretty much every single film that I've managed to watch in the, 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 my whole entire life I was thinking all the different TV shows all the different you know like Mean Girls and Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen and all these different films that I've seen that include American High School you should see my Google search results I'm not joking the past week my Google search results was like the school from Mean Girls the school from Easy A the school from X, Y and Z all these different American either TV shows or films I was just trying to look at all the different high schools and just trying Trying to combine all of the all of the ideas, all the different features of all of them, and basically put it into one. And for that little archway bit, funnily enough, the inspiration came from the film, you know, Easy A with Emma Stone in. 
I, I feel like basically half my voiceover, I feel like I'm just referencing either films or TV shows and I'm just praying that you've seen them at one point. But if you haven't seen the film, basically, it's, it's, it's a good film, I'd recommend. But in the film, there is this one scene, and I don't know why, but it always stands out to me in my mind. There's there's weird things about different TV shows or different films and I couldn't remember the plot, but I could tell you what the building looks like. It's just, I don't know why I remember this kind of stuff. But there's this one scene in Easy A. And I remember it, she's walking down this hallway and there's lockers on one side and then on the other side, there's kind of like these archways or kind of like these columns and it goes out into a courtyard i've always really liked that idea and so that is basically one of the i don't want to say features of the build but it's kind of one of the things that i started off with and then i just kind of built upon it but yeah i just i was thinking about easy when i was building this and i was building, thinking about this just one particular scene but i just thought i'd mention it but anyway as you can see i've just finished up the whole entire exterior and now i've moved on into the inside quickly i know i am now moving on to the inside i'm doing something differently but i did just want to talk about the school bus We've now got a school bus in the game. Now, unfortunately, don't get it twisted, it doesn't work. And I was absolutely gutted when I found out it didn't work because if you're not familiar with my channel, maybe you're new here, maybe this is the first time you've seen my video. Basically, when the expansion pack trailer came out, I'm not joking, I literally, I got on a plane the same day, like I was out. <laughs> so I literally, the expansion pack trailer came out and then I went on holiday. I didn't know anything about the expansion pack because I didn't have any service. And so this whole entire time I was on holiday, I was kind of assuming that the, the school bus was gonna be either just a rabbit hole, even if it just turns up outside of your Sims house and then it just disappears, so I didn't even have to drive off. I just, I had, I was I was hoping that it was gonna be a rabbit hole. I came home, I found out. Unfortunately, it's just purely decoration. But to be honest, I'm still grateful for it. I'm still happy that we've got a decoration to make it look like it's a school bus. It seems a little bit more realistic, but I am really gutted that <laughs> your Sims can't actually interact with it. But I really wanted to make as much use of it as I could possible. And so in the front car park, there ends up being loads of different spaces for what I imagine to be for the teacher, for the, for the principal, and then some other spaces for like, teenagers to drive into school some of them are placed down these kind of like graffitied parking spaces you can actually find these in the world itself and so i thought i'd merge some of them in to this lot but then there's also this little like bus area which i imagine you know i use the school buses i imagine that it was maybe for say there's a school trip maybe they're gonna pop to i don't know a waste of springs for the day and they're gonna go to I don't know, the museum or something, maybe they all get in the school bus and they all go together. Again, this is just pure, like, you got to imagine it because unfortunately that is not a thing, but I'm just so happy that we've, even just the decoration, I'm still really grateful for it. And also in the, in the front, like, car park area, you might have noticed that I used a few different, I think they're meant to be bus stop covers, but basically I use them as kind of like bike sheds. So you would have seen the trick that I've done. I've actually done it a few times previously, but basically I got this wall decoration that we got from the Snowy Escape expansion pack, and it's meant to sit underneath windows but basically what I did is I got two of them I merged them together to make it look like some iron bars and then I merged in some bikes together and then I put one of them right directly up by the staircase so your sims I imagine can ride their bike all the way up they can put their little padlock on and then just walk straight up the stairs and go into class but then there's also another two like bike bike shelters on the other side that's basically just got tons of different bikes because I feel like teenagers are more so gonna ride a bike to school rather than drive to school. I mean, I'm from England, so I went to school on a school bus. It didn't, it wasn't a yellow one, it was just a red one, but from where I'm from anyway, it's more common for you to ride your bike to school or maybe have like them, like the school buses, but they're just not yellow, they're, they're, they're red <laughs> instead of yellow. But I feel like it's more common to have a teenager ride their bike to school rather than drive, especially in the UK, because when you are when you go to school in England, you're like 15, 16, depending on how, like when your birthday is, because like me, I'm a July baby. It was actually recently my birthday, it was my birthday, Funny enough, this week actually, I turned 24, but when in England, depending on how old you are, you're gonna be like 15, 16 when you're at school, and then you leave school, and then, then you start to drive because you don't learn to drive until you're 17. So I just thought it was it was a bit better, I thought, to have some bike racks as well as just loads of different park, parking spaces. You know, there's, there's a range in this school, but anyway, getting on. So as you can see, I've moved on into the inside. Now, I did the little entrance lobby area, so you walk in, you've got the like school mascot, I'm gonna assume, it's a llama on the floor and then you've also got this little computer desk which I imagine a receptionist would sit at now unfortunately in the game there isn't any like receptionist NPC they're just it's just an empty desk but I like to it felt weird just walking straight in there's a hallway there's no like waiting area like I said imagine if there's like parents evening or if there was maybe oh what's it called Ofsted is that a thing in America? I don't know, where basically you have these people that come to school and then evaluate, you know, how the teachers are learning and all the different 
things that's going on in the school. I think it was called Ofsted anyway. Maybe the Ofsted are going to come in. They need a waiting area. You just need a waiting area, basically, in the school. So you would have seen, I did the little entrance hallway area, and then there's kind of like a window, which I sized down to make it look like a hole in the wall. And then the other side, that is where the receptionist would sit. And then behind the receptionist is how you get into the principal's office. I haven't done the principal's office just yet. You'll see me do that in a second. But basically, just in front of the principal's door, like to get to their office, there's also some more waiting areas. So maybe, maybe the teenager has been really naughty. Maybe they've been, I call it bunking off, but people call it different things in different places in the world. Basically, when you skip your lessons, well, maybe like your teenager has been really naughty, they decided that they didn't want to go to class. Maybe they got caught in the school toilets or something, and so they were sent to the principal's office. There's a little waiting area just outside of their, their space for them to wait to basically then go in and then get told off, basically. But also, you can see that I've now moved on into one of the classrooms. Now, I did decide to cut out the other classroom, just because, right, stick with me, it's a very long video. The classrooms that are actually the classrooms that your sims are going to interact with, in terms of how they look, they're pretty much the exact same. The only difference is the posters on the walls and the different decorations around the classroom. And unfortunately, I did decide to do the same thing for the hallway. So you might be able to see some like posters and some lockers just outside this classroom. Again, I decided to cut out because it's basically the exact same thing. At the end of the day, I would rather, if I was you personally, I'd rather watch a video and every single room be a different thing rather than me show you every single classroom, every single hallway, when at the end of the day, it's the same thing. It's just lockers and posters and wall decorations and like benches for your sims to sit on. And so I decided, and I don't like doing it, I really don't like cutting pretty much anything out of my videos, but I decided to only show you one of the classrooms being furnished and then I think only one of the hallways. So you still get an idea of how I decorate them, but it's just not gonna, it's not gonna be an extra 10 minutes of stuff that you've already seen. Plus, I'd rather show you the furnishing of brand new rooms, like the science lab and the computer room, rather than two classrooms, which are the exact same thing. You know, they're literally tables and chairs. It's just different posters on the wall, but there will be screenshots at the end of the video for if you do wanna see how the classrooms are looking, there'll be screenshots of absolutely everything and all the different hallways as well. But now, as you can see, I've now moved on into the bathrooms. Now, I know what you're thinking because I was actually gritting myself. I blocked off two of the windows with platforms and I really don't like doing this. I've really wanted to avoid this. Uh, I, I, I really didn't want to do this, but the way that I did the floor plan for this whole entire school, like I said, I wanted it to be as easy as possible. You know, you've got a left wing, you've got one classroom, you've got some toilets, you've got the right wing, you've got some toilets, you've got a classroom. It just so happened to turn out that the way that the classrooms and the toilets were, the toilets happened to be on the end of the, of the building and they've got these big windows in them. But the thing is, I didn't want to put the toilet door right in front of the window. Now I'm thinking about it, I probably could do that. I might have a play about with it, right, before I upload it to gallery, because currently, as I'm doing this voiceover, I haven't uploaded it to gallery yet. I'm going to see how it looks when I come in and I, just before I upload it, basically, because I've done everything else, placed it, taking the screenshots. So I'm going to play around with it to see if I can figure out a way to do the toilet so there's maybe not a platform, because, yeah, I was gritting my teeth when I was doing it, because I didn't want to do it. But then I also, on the same token, I wanted the toilet stalls to be really close together, and I wanted it to be nice for screenshots. I might have a play about with it. I don't normally do that kind of thing. I normally, when I show you my video, this this is how it's going to be. When you download it off the gallery, that is exactly what you're getting. But I might try and figure out if I can remove the platforms and just do it in a way that is, is best suited so it's not blocked off by a platform because it does annoy me. And it'll probably annoy you as well. But at that current moment in time, that's all I could think to do. But anyway, moving on. As you can see, I've now moved on into the next room, which is the staff room. So in here, I was just thinking, you know, this is where the teachers go on their lunch break. You can often find teachers sitting in here with their little salad bowls or something, maybe going over some coursework, maybe planning out their lessons. Maybe your teenagers have been really naughty and they want to come in here and have a bit of a, a bit of a gossip with, with the other teachers because, you know, the teachers also have their lunch break as well. You're going to find them possibly sitting in here you know, just gossiping or maybe having a cup of coffee or whatever. In here, there ends up being like a little sofa area, also a bunch of different like certificates and medals on the wall. And then there's also like a coffee machine, coffee cups, a microwave, mini fridge, just the standard stuff that I feel like you would find into a staff room, which I've never been in a staff room, by the way. I feel like, was anyone else in school like this? The staff room, they were so secretive. Like you'd ask, you'd go and knock on the door when you was at school. Maybe you wanted to ask a teacher something before your lesson, or maybe you just needed a teacher for some help or whatever. I remember I used to go Go and knock on the staff room door in my school and they used to open the door and like try and slide out the door and be so secretive about it. I don't know what was in them classrooms or like them staff rooms but 
I, I've never seen the inside of one because my school, I don't know what it is, but they just would not let students see the inside of it. But either way, this is what I imagine a staff room would look like anyway. But I didn't do a separate room for the principal because I was thinking about the possibility of having a separate seating room for the principal, you know, when they're on their lunch break. They don't want to go and sit and merge with the teachers. But then I was thinking about it and I was thinking, I want this school to really be about community and community spirit and school spirit and I didn't want to close off the principal in like a separate little principal's office staff room thing because they can just use the main one and so they've got their room they've still got their little desk area which you will see me do in a second but currently you can see that I've now moved on into the cafeteria so first things first I do want to let you know the way that I built it you see where all of these like posters with all like the broccoli and the carrots and letters are on basically behind that you want to see I just built a wall now I haven't done it yet but basically behind that wall I end up adding a platform the only reason why I didn't do it when I was filming is just because Basically, my PC was on for so long because where this is such a big lot, I've, I'm not joking when I tell you, I've literally been filming this since Thursday. My PC, bless it, it's barely been turned off. It was only turned off yesterday for the first time, but where I was building this for so long, the, the platforms, when I was trying to raise it, there was just like a slight two, three seconds delay and it was quite infuriating, especially how high I wanted the platform to be. So if I've ever like built a wall and you're going to see it in different spaces in this whole entire build if I haven't put a platform behind it just know that there will eventually be a platform behind it now the only reason I'm pointing this out is because it's quite a it's quite a good trick if you want to build things and you want to be able to see all the different walls within a building basically I wanted you to be able to see all these different lunch menus all the different maybe like the daily specials or what's going to be at the cafeteria tomorrow you know get excited your sims can read it they can't but you can imagine that they can read it and you know think about what they're going to have for lunch tomorrow and see all the daily specials and the the lunch menu basically for the upcoming week but i wanted your sims to be able to see that one when you're in gameplay and two be really nice for screenshots so if you add a platform behind a wall and you raise it up to the, to the max height you know when you go into half walls up half walls down mode and if you've got an exterior of the building you can only see the the wall that kind of leads out onto nothing like the the, the back of the lot basically if you put a platform there it will act like that so you're still going to be able to see all the different lunch menus it's basically going to be how you see it on the screen now when you're in half falls up half falls down mode it's a really handy and quite a nifty little trick when you do that because you still get the same effect of having all the walls up but then you don't have to try and figure out the floor plan because the one thing that i was really wanting to focus on in this cafeteria was having like a massive lunchtime menu massive loads of like the soup of the day and you know what's coming up for tomorrow's menu and stuff like that but i want your sims to be able to see it and i also want to see it like in gameplay because this is going to be the school that I'm going to be playing with in my own personal gameplay I want you to be able to see that it just kind of it makes it feel a little bit more real so yeah I, I did end up having a platform behind it but you just don't see it but you will if you download it there will be one there but in this massive like cafeteria area I basically try to include as many tables as I could possible so I think there ends up being like five different tables I was trying to think of you know main girls when they're when they're, when they're kind of giving the rundown of the cafeteria area you know you've got the plastics you've got the art people you've got the jocks you've got i was basically trying to think of that and trying to do as many tables as i could possible for all the different types of either after school activities or maybe like the clubs that you've got from get together i don't know if they are going to work i'm assuming they do I, i've seen something on twitter that apparently you can't set like a school hangout for your for your get together clubs which it's really unfortunate and I hope that's not the case and I hope that if that is the case then they fix it eventually because the get together expansion pack could go so well with this expansion pack if the if the club systems were allowing this to be the hangout but I was basically just trying to think of mean girls basically and that cafeteria and all the different all the different types of teenagers and all their different types of interests and try and do like a table for each of them that ends up being I think like five so there's like one for your sims that are really into art there's one for your sims that are really into music there's one for your your sims that are cheerleaders there's also one for your sims that are jocks there's also one for your sims that might like doing chess and there's all these different spaces and i just basically just tried to clutter it up and make it feel like an actual cafeteria in the back corner you would have seen as well i also stacked some of these chairs so we've got a few new chairs within this expansion pack i think we've got like five off memory off the top of my head but basically there's these new ones that i placed down into the classrooms as well as in the like the cafeteria area and they stack really nicely and i feel like every single school every single like gymnasium like every every single type of academic setting even like universities there's always some stacked chairs in the corner and so i place some of them down into the corner of the cafeteria there's also kind of like a little like a staff entrance so like your staff will walk through this door and then you walk in it's got this kind of it's like a unit for spare food. We got it from the Dine Out game pack. It looks like it's got loads of different sauces and loads of different stuff that you would add. You know, like, 
You know when people say, oh, I've got no food at home, you, you're basically condiments. It looks like it's like a condiment station. So I place that into that little room and then they walk through the archway and that's where the cafeteria area is. But moving on from that, as you can see, I've now moved on and I've started furnishing the principal's office. But quickly, you would have seen me just furnish one of the hallways. Now, like I've mentioned, I decided to cut out things that I was just repeating myself. So I don't show every single hallway, but I show you like snippets of some hallways just so you can get an idea how they're decorated you can maybe picture which which locker is going to be your sims because your sims can now choose their locker and then they can decorate it which by the way when i upload this to the gallery i'm not going to do it so there's already decorative lockers or like lockers that have been decorated just because i don't know how that's going to transfer over in the gallery and there might be a particular locker in like a certain space and you might want that for your sim but then if you download it off the gallery and i've already set that to another sim and i've decorated it with like certain stickers and certain kind of decorations I'm not sure if you're then going to be able to redecorate it. So just to avoid that, I'm not going to have the lockers decorated so they're going to be completely blank, completely blank canvas for you and your sims. You know, decorate them however you want to decorate them, but you can see that I've now moved on into the principal's office. So in here, I just wanted it to be quite fancy, quite grand. It's got a ton of different like walls and certificates in the walls and there's a massive like trophy case behind them as well. There's also a little seating area in here. I can just picture so many naughty teenagers coming in here you know they've been caught in the bathrooms when they're meant to be in lesson or they've done something they've stepped a foot wrong or something or even maybe maybe you've got a teenager that really wants to go to the university of brychester and um, maybe they're coming into this office and they're going to be asking for some help you know maybe they're going to ask for them to write i can't think what it's called but you know when you get someone to write a bit of paper basically saying how well you are at like a, a team player or how you're doing in your academics and basically just write them an essay and then maybe they're going to come in and talk to the principal and chat about it or maybe the maybe the other staff come in and just talk to the teacher i just wanted there to be a waiting area i wanted there to be a trophy case i wanted it to show that it was the literal principal's office the only one thing that doesn't so much annoy me but it actually no yeah it does annoy me about the expansion pack is you know the requirements list so whenever you're building a community lot say for instance you're building a gym some of the requirements would be you know you've got to have at least one mirror you've got to have a shower you've got to have a treadmill so on and so forth for this lot so for the high school lot one of the requirements is to have the principal's desk but the thing is it's set to this one particular desk which if it wasn't set to that one particular desk i wouldn't have chose that for the principal's desk so the one that i chose it was kind of like square on one side and it kind of went into like a bit of a rounded bit but we have so many other desks in the game which would be in my opinion anyway so much better suited for a principal that are a little bit more grand a little bit more fancier whereas the one that i've used in this build i mainly just used it because that was what is listed under the principal's desk requirements so i'm hoping that they're going to update that and give us maybe some more options or something i know it will probably confuse the game if you include every single type of desk that we've got in the game to be the principal's desk and the principal could be a little bit confused but i don't know i just maybe you can click on it and maybe lock it to the principal's desk or something just because i i only use the principal's desk in that one room and then for the rest of the lot i tried to use different desks just so it wouldn't confuse the principal and it seemed to work out fine but yeah it was just something that really annoyed me that we can't like we've got one from i think it's base games it's really big fancy it's got drawers on either side it's got some like fancy like wood details on it and you can't use it you have to use the one that they've given you I just yeah I, I hope that I update that but anyway as you can see I've now moved on to the upstairs portion of the build and I've started off by furnishing the music room all right first of all you see the rug that I placed down the floor and the flag matches so perfectly I did not I was so chuffed when I I think I placed down the rug first and then I placed down the music like little flag area but basically I wanted it to all match together I placed it down and it just so happened to be pretty much the exact same color as the rug and the flag like they kind of they look like they're a set they look like they go together but in here as you can see there ends up being a grand piano in the corner a big trophy case i know i use the trophy case in the principal's office but i changed out some of the like the awards and some of the medals so for instance in the principal's one downstairs there's like certain there's certain different trophies there's certain different medals and there's not the same ones that i've used in that trophy case so in the trophy case in the music room that ends up being kind of like a little music note one and there's there's more ones that look like trophies for music rather than just kind of like generic ones but you would have seen the way that i place around it like the the chairs are in kind of like a semicircle motion we also have some microphones also in a bit of a semicircle motion like I said, maybe you've got like a school choir or something. Maybe that's what your sim wants to do. Maybe they want to grow up one day and they want to become like a musician. Maybe that's where they spend a lot of their time. There's also a few different guitars in the room. And I don't know if you would have noticed, but basically, you know Room of Magic, the game pack? We have this little wand stand. You can basically, with your wand in the game, there's these different 
wand cases that you can place into your sims houses and they can display their little wands but i decided to place them down into that room and try and imagine them to be like clarinet or like flute boxes because we don't have any of them in the game we only have guitars violins piano keyboard and that is pretty much it off memory but i really wanted there to be like clarinets so maybe it's like clarinet practice or maybe they play the flute or something and so i placed down these little wand boxes they're empty but i was imagining that maybe they've got their clarinet and maybe your sims have got it in their pockets rather than it being in the case but also in that room there ends up being like a dj mixing station there's also some like amplifiers for the guitars and stuff and now as you can see i've moved on to the next room which is the art room so in here there ends up being some art easels some kind of like newspaper on the floor to protect the wood flooring from paint there's also some like loads of different like paintings up against the walls kind of like maybe it's artwork that is being left to dry i placed down this kind of like stand which is from base game it's one of the unlockables you know the different things like different careers you can unlock different things there's both one which i'm assuming is going to be from the artist career which you can unlock and it's basically loads of paintings in kind of like a drying stand do you remember when you was in school and you used to paint something and you used to be really proud of it and then you used to put it on the stands and then you used to try and put it at the top of top of the stands so everyone could see how proud you are of your painting well i basically i placed some of them down into the art room and then there's also one decoration that i very often forget about but it was in the unlocked category and it reminded me it was basically this chair that looks like it's got like a bottle of wine and like a, a plant and, and maybe like stacked on some books and i placed it in front of the art easels that way if your sims have got a high enough painting skill when they can paint from reference they can just kind of look directly at this little chair that's got the wine and the plant on it and they can try and paint that it's kind of like what they're painting from reference. I just thought it was a nice little touch, but in that room, there also ends up being quite a big high table with some bar stools. So if your sims wanted to, like again, like I said, if you wanted to, you could add the whiteboard into there and then you could pretend that when your sims are studying for their exam or maybe they're in class, maybe they're in art class, it's completely up to you. But like I said, I just didn't want to confuse the game by adding so many different whiteboards. And I, I'm still very new to this expansion pack as we all are, because it's literally only just come out. And so I don't really know the ins and outs, the mechanics of the game and how how it works but if you wanted to you could add a whiteboard in there because there is some desk areas for your sims to sit up on some bar stools maybe write on write on some paper maybe draw in their journal and just you know just draw some stuff do some artsy bits and bobs but also in the corner i added in one of the woodworking stations but now as you can see i've now moved on into the next room which is the library so in here as you can see it's quite a spacious library but it makes perfect sense because I mean the library that I went to at school and also the library that I went to at university was absolutely massive and so I wanted it to be quite big in this space so you can see that I've placed down loads of these different bookcases and I've kind of done it so some of them are kind of like up leaning against one another and then that way your sims can maybe be looking for a certain book or for a certain subject and then maybe as they pull out one of the books they can see another sim on the other side I just feel like that happens in so many different music videos and so many different films and TV shows but in this room that ends up being that the the main bulk of the library is kind of in the middle it's kind of like where all the bookcases are in one of the bookcases are kind of like merged in this little table i was thinking that maybe your sims want to go there do their homework write on an essay maybe just practice at some some project that they're working on or maybe just read a book because i mean it is a library that is one of the main purposes of a library but there is like a little hidden desk space in between it and the bookcases and then either side like either either wing if you want to put it that way of a library there is these little more like desk areas on one side again it's the same thing it's just somewhere where your sims can practice for exams they can write out some papers and then on the other side is where i put the research station now i did really struggle with what to initially put here before i remembered about the research stations because i really wanted there to be like a cozy reading nook because i feel like in every single Single school library or just anything that's got a library there's always like a really comfy sofa area where you can go and pick out a book you can sit down you can have a drink i say that actually most libraries that i've been to don't actually let you drink in there but i'm, I'm, I'm talking about soft drinks by the way I'm, I'm talking about tea and coffee but i feel like most libraries have like a little cozy reading nook and i wanted to include one in this library like i mean there isn't a space downstairs which i did decide to cut out as well which it literally is nothing too interesting it's very similar to the library but just on a very smaller scale and again it was quite repetitive it's just got bookcases in there and just some empty tables basically somewhere where your sims can again go and practice on a project that they're working on or maybe go and write their homework or whatever but i was really struggling what to initially put into that 
that little nook and then I remembered that we've got like a research and debate little machine that your sims can basically just level up their skills in but for the longest time I tried so many different sofas and so many different armchairs and I was really trying to make it so there was like a cosy little reading nook but in the end I, I figured to be honest there is so many different seating areas in and around the school in any way like, I don't really need to have a seating area just dedicated to sitting down because there's so many seating areas. But anyway, moving on from that, as you can see, I've now moved on into the next room, which is kind of like the computer room, the technology room. So in here, all right, I was th when I was building this, I was thinking a lot back to when I was in school, when I was in college, when I was in uni, like all the different academic places that I've ever visited and what's inside of them. And I remember when I was in school, there always used to be like this massive trolley that used to have like iPads or laptops in it. And it used to be like you log one out. And it, it was a similar thing with like the arts and crafts thing in my school, where you would basically log out your laptop or you'd log out a computer and there'll be one for every single pupil in the school and then at the end of the lesson if they if, if they didn't get it back you'd have, like be left behind it was a similar thing like glue sticks i hope you know what i'm talking about but like you used to book out like laptops and tablets and i imagine what i've placed behind this computer desk is basically that so i placed down loads of different tablets and i was imagining the ones that are empty or maybe the ones that the the teachers have used or maybe a teacher's borrowing them for their lesson or something but yeah i was thinking back to when i was in school when you used to you used to get like a glow stick and then teachers used to have an absolute meltdown if every single glue stick lid never used to return maybe it was just my school maybe my si maybe my, i was about to say maybe my sims maybe my teachers in my school just had a thing about glue stick lids but you'd never be able to leave the lesson until everything was back in their little cubby and so i tried to do something similar in here but using like tablets and ipads but you can see there's just a ton of different desk spaces loads of different of the same computer as loads of different books and then in the corner i placed down these kind of like storage carts it looks like they've got like hard drives on it looks like they've just got loads of different technology bits and bobs basically and they just fitted perfectly into a computer room because at the end of the day what do you actually put in a computer room i was really debating putting a tv on the wall and then you know them like interactive whiteboards that you used to have in school and you used to like be able to draw on it and then at the end of the day you could just rub it off and it was just basically like technology but whiteboard version i was thinking about putting a tv and making that act like one of them but the only thing is i didn't want your sims then just go and stand upstairs and just watch tv so i decided against the idea because again the gameplay i don't know how that would have panned out but now as you can see i've now moved on into the next room which is a science lab so in here as you can see i placed down this crime map i'm trying to pretend that this is going to be the whiteboard like i said i didn't want to place down the whiteboard up here because I didn't know if the teacher would actually come and stand in front of this one or whatnot, it might confuse the game. So I make do and I just place down this crime map, which to be honest, I think looks it looks quite good. I, I mean I'd believe that was a whiteboard. But in here I place down like, some counters and some bar stools because I feel like with science classrooms, again, in every single academic building that I've been in that there has been science rooms, there always seem to be counters and then bar stools and then at the end of the lesson you always used to put your bar stools on top of the counter maybe again maybe that was just a thing that i did in school and maybe no one else did that but i want you to use the counters and the bar stools rather than the tables and the chairs just because to me it feels it feels a little bit more sciencey but you can see that i placed down like the skeleton i've also placed down this little kind of like bar stool that's got these little wheels on i imagine that the teacher would be teaching the lesson and i imagine them to be quite a a bit of a free spirit so they don't like sitting at the desk they like to kind of like move around as they teach and so they have this little bar stool but it's got wheels on and so as they're teaching a lesson they probably like sit on it and then kind of like zhuzh around on this little bar stool this room doesn't end up having like a dedicated computer teacher desk area if you know what i mean so for the other classrooms i try to do it so well i say for the other classrooms not so much for the music room and not so much for the art room but for like the computer room and then the other two classrooms downstairs at the front of the classroom there would be like a, a computer desk like a teacher's desk there'll be a computer on it and there'll be like a little seating area and then all the desks and tables and chairs would kind of like face the teacher's desk but with science, I feel like that's not really needed because a lot of the time you're just experimenting, you know, you're playing around with Bunsen burners or actually don't play around with Bunsen burners, it's quite dangerous. But you know, you're experimenting with stuff with Bunsen burners and you're, you know, you're doing all these bits and bobs within science. It's very much more hands-on rather than sitting down and writing on a bit of paper. And so there isn't a dedicated computer desk for the teacher or for the science teacher because I imagine that they didn't need one. Plus in my school, teachers didn't have that. They just, they would just use the edge of our counters because with counters, where there's such a big surface area, you can kind of have two people, like one end of it. And then maybe the teacher can just use the end of the counter and write down any notes that they need to do but 
in terms of a computer desk, I just felt like it wasn't needed. But in that room, as you would have seen, there's loads of different posters relating to science and hazards and space and just everything that could have made any sense to fit into a science room. I tried to include it in there. Like I said, there's a skeleton. There's loads of different like kind of like gas bottles and there's like this little alien on a table and there's just so many bits and bobs and so many posters from Strangerville came in really handy because with the Strangerville game pack, we've got some posters that are kind of like hazard suits. I say hazard suits. I think I was meant to say. I don't know what it's called, but you know them, them suits? If you think to Monsters, Inc., you know when they... Oh, what is it? We've got a 2319 or whatever. I can't think what it is. Is it 2319? You know when someone gets... The monster gets a sock on them, and then all of these monsters come in and, like, them yellow, like, hazmat... That's it, hazmat suits. Basically, there's posters of, like, hazmat suits on, like, warning signs, and I just thought like that's appropriate for science, because in science dangerous it can be very dangerous and so i just placed loads of them all over the walls and there's also this one new post that we got from the expansion pack that looks like the science table of all the different elements and so of course i placed that into that room as well but now as you can see i've now moved on into the next space which is the janitor's closet it's not needed it is just purely i mean your sims can still use it your sims can still sit there but it was just purely for decoration because there is that man that is just wandering about at the school cleaning stuff up and i think they might repair stuff as well and so i wanted them to have their own little janitor's closet so in there that ends up being basically like some shelving units as well as some like boxes and just general stuff and like mops and things I feel like you would find in a janitor's closet but you would have noticed I placed down these shelving units and I only cluttered it up with things that would clip to the shelves because where the janitor's closet is when you go into half walls up half walls down mode if you move object something onto a shelf and you use the move objects cheat when you go into that half all up, half all down mode, all of them clutter pieces will just remain floating in the air. And so I only selected clutter pieces like tissue boxes and weird like jars of things and tins of things that would clip to it. So it's a bit of a random assortment of clutter, but it was the stuff that would basically clip to the shelving unit just to stop it from like floating in the air because it kind of it just looks a bit weird when that happens but now as you can see I'm moving on to the upstairs hallway space so this is just basically another space where your sims can choose out with one of their lockers they can decorate the lockers there's also some little seating benches areas cluttered it up with loads of different books and shoes and some just posters and just stuff that I feel like you would probably find in the locker I tried to keep the lockers in like a a grey white and green colour palette so all the lockers within the school they stick to this kind of this colour theme. Now I stuck to this theme for two reasons. One being this was the best colour combination that I felt was working best for this school and even though the llama that's on the floor in the like entrance hallway is red and the lockers are green instead of red, I just felt like these colours just mended well together. But I did it for another reason because where there is so many different lockers in this school, say for instance you get your sim to pick out a locker and you know they've got this one particular locker that is going to be theirs, they're going to decorate from it, they're going to get all their school books from it, they're going to maybe change their outfit into their gym clothes from it. At one point, I feel like you might forget <laughs> which locker it is because there is so many in this school. So if you wanted to, you could definitely change the colour of the lockers. So say, for instance, we've got all the green, the grey and the white ones. Say your sim wanting to have their locker, which is maybe on the middle floor, like the main level of a school. If I was you, I'd change the locker colour to be like pink or purple or red. So then it stands out from all the others and then you're going to remember that way which locker is your sims. Of course you don't have to, but it was just an idea that I had in terms of it's easy for gameplay. But anyway, as you can see, I've I've now moved on downstairs into the basement. Also quickly, I do want to mention, I haven't shown all the bathrooms, but there was some bathrooms opposite that little hallway space that you would have seen. There is bathrooms on every single level, but I only show you the furnishing of one of the bathrooms because they're literally the exact same. They're using the toilet stalls that we've got from Discover University. The ones that I've used have kind of got like drawings on because we did get some toilet stalls within this expansion pack, the, the new one that we just got, high school years, but they don't have any like doodles or any scribbles on them. And I feel like for a high school, People people write on the bathroom walls. People people definitely do graffiti on them. And so I decided to use Discover University ones. But yeah, there is some more bathrooms. But I just didn't show the furnishings for every single one. But in here, you can see that I tried to do like a little bit of a changing room, a little bit of a changing space. So basically, where your Sims, if they're on the basketball team or if they're on the swim team, that's where they're going to get changed into either their like, athletic wear or maybe like their swim wear. Now, there isn't a changing room for the basketball court as such because you'll see at the end because there'll be an overhead screenshot. But the way that the floor plan is for the basement is you, if you're looking at it directly, like head on, you have the basketball court on the left hand side and then the swimming pool area on the right hand side. But the basketball court it's so big like it's massive I didn't ha really have any space behind it to put some dedicated changing rooms and so I thought it doesn't really matter too much if they just share the changing rooms because I feel like in a school if you're going to have changing rooms 
all the different sports teams are just going to share the same ones anyway so hopefully you don't mind that there's not a separate changing room for the basketball team to the swim team i don't think it's a massive deal anyway but as you can see in here i placed down at that llama kind of like school pride school flag thing on the bottom floor of a swimming pool i was imagining that maybe you got a sim that's in the swim team and maybe they're like doing swimming practice or something i also placed down the little lines onto the floor as well to make it look like they're gonna be swimming laps up and down there's also so many different kind of like lifeguard rings or you know the things that if there's an emergency or something and someone needs one of them in the pool there's loads of them dotted around this room i also tried to make it look like there was a lifeguard chair but i don't think i executed it very well i basically just used a bar stool and then put like a little or what's it called like a megaphone next to it to make it look like a lifeguard sits there during swim practice or maybe the swimming teacher sits there and then say if someone's doing something wrong they can be sitting on their little bar stool and then like use that little megaphone and shout them but i don't think i executed it that well but we don't really have any lifeguard chairs in the game surprisingly even though we have the lifeguard career which is a part-time career that we got from the island living expansion pack but either way i tried to make it look like there was a lifeguard station but now as you can see i've now moved on into the next space which is almost like the chess tournament room i imagine that basically if ever there's a chess tournament it's going to be held in this room so you can see the way that i've done it is i basically put a platform on one level and then i put a little bit more of a fancier chess table with some different chairs the other ones in this room and i was thinking that maybe there's like a tournament that happens every single week maybe there's like two chess champions <laughs> and they like to challenge each other and there's also like a little clock on the wall so maybe they time themselves maybe they want to see who can do it in the quickest time or something but it's basically just a dedicated space where your sims can come in they can play chess they can get up their logic skill there's also some like sofas down there there's also like a bookcase and then you don't see it but in the hallways like around the basement there's loads of different vending machines as well actually i think i placed down some vending machines outside but you don't see me do it because i'm pretty sure i did that once i stopped filming and i was just kind of going in and play testing and just kind of like taking the screenshot but there is a bunch of different vendor machines in and around this building basically i'm talking about you know like the picnic areas outside that's where i'm talking about so if your sims want to go and have their lunch out there rather than the cafeteria there is going to be some vending machines i'm pretty sure i'm going to place some out in a second because when i was doing these football stand areas which you can see that i've now moved on to i was thinking well normally when you go to like a football game as I've seen anyway. Actually, no, I went to one basketball game once. No, not basketball. I went to one baseball game in Toronto once. I think it was called Blue Jays. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I went to a baseball game and there's always these people that are kind of like standing around with like the little food carts and stuff. And it was here that I remembered the vending machines, I'm pretty sure. So you'll see me place some of them into the hallways. But for the ones that are outside in the picnic areas, you won't see me place. But in here, as you can see, I placed down these kind of like wall decals on the floor. Again, one of them like school spirit, like rug things on the floor. There's also this live edit, kind of like like school board, which I merged into the wall as well. Now again, you know with the cafeteria, how I was talking about, I put a platform behind it, then when you go into walls up and walls down mode, it will kind of show it as an exterior wall. I did it for the inside basketball court as well. But apart from that, I'm just gonna go around the building, you know, add some more like flags and school posters and just bits and bobs, some cheerleading things. Also, there is a cheerleading mat outside. I placed it when I placed down that like, live edit stand, but you just don't see it. But if you're wondering if cheerleaders can practice here, there is a dedicated area for them outside. But apart from that, that is basically it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this voiceover right here. So as always, you can download this build via the gallery. My origin ID is JessicaPyYT, or you can just search for the hashtag JessicaPyYT, or just the hashtag JessicaPy. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, if you do like my content, then please do subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speed winning video. Bye, guys.